Welcome to the Cybersecurity Sales Made Easy podcast, where you get real-world growth and mindset hacks, all designed to accelerate your journey to become a cybersecurity hero for your small business clients. And now, here's your host, Cybersecurity Sherpa, Jennifer Bleem. Hello, hello, welcome back. So we are going through a whole series of topics related to sales fundamentals that absolutely apply to the cybersecurity space as well. And I've been sharing some thoughts about objections and how to handle objections or diffuse objections. And I just want to remind you that objections are not something that you should take personally. In fact, if you can shift your perspective and look at objections as almost a gift. Now, I know that sounds odd, but realize that what your client or your prospect is doing by giving you an objection is sharing a concern with you or sharing an area where they don't trust your process, they don't trust the solution, potentially they don't trust you. And so because they're throwing this up, it feels like an affront to you personally, but what it really is is them just sharing their inner thoughts and their concerns and their areas where they need some help understanding it from your perspective. So if you see it that way as a gift, thank you for sharing with me. How can I help? Let me help you see this from my perspective that will help you shift the way that you handle an objection. Because instead of you trying to overcome it and uh, start to argue with them, instead you are going to seek to understand. So remember that. Seek to understand where your client or prospect is coming from when they give you an objection. Now today, I wanna share a tip for you that has helped a lot of people with objections in general, as well as cybersecurity objections. And that tip is how to make sure that you don't hear most objections ever again. Listen, I wish I had a magic wand and I could say, here's the best way to never hear another sales objection, but hopefully your your red flag meter would go up and you're like, all right, she's she's kind of talking trash and there's no way she can deliver that. And you'd be 100% right. I can't promise that you'll never hear another objection. But what I can tell you is if you use this little bit of a trick, a little bit of a hack, you are going to help your clients see things from your perspective. So that's my promise to you. Here's what I want you to do. Take your top three to five sales objections that you have heard or that you expect to hear specific to cybersecurity, turn them into a question, answer that question, and then use that document as a cybersecurity FAQ document. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say that one of the things that you suspect you hear, or you, you will hear, or that maybe you've actually heard in real life is the, the you know, well, you sold me this. You sold me a BDR, you sold me a firewall. And, and clearly if a client says that to you, you sold this to me, First of all, it would be very easy to take that personally because you did sell it to them and you sold it to them in good conscience. It was the best possible solution that there was then to keep them safe. And so if you hear that objection, of course your natural inclination is going to be to defend yourself because they're not really attacking your solution. It feels like they're attacking you personally. You sold me this, you're a scumbag salesperson. You're just like all the other sales people, maybe you should go sell cars. Now, that's not what they're saying, but it's what you're hearing, right? So of course, you're going to take that personally. Well, what if you take that objection that you're concerned about hearing or you have heard, and you shift that into a question, and you put on your FAQ document, why do I need to buy cybersecurity solutions today when I have things like an antivirus firewall and some data backup solutions? So if you phrase it as a question and then you take the time to answer it, and a good answer might be something like, the threats have changed and what kept you safe a year or two or three ago are just simply not enough to keep you safe today. And so therefore, because you've hired me as your IT company or therefore because I care about small businesses in our community, I have to keep you up to date and make sure that you are as safe as possible from these threats. So unfortunately, the solutions we put in place then, they're still good, but they simply aren't stopping all of the threats. Now, 
you've got this FAQ document because you're going to turn all three or five of your biggest objections into questions and then answer them in the calmness and the quiet of your office when you can think these through a little bit better. And you now have an awesome cybersecurity FAQ document. Now, how do you use this cybersecurity FAQ document? I'm going to give you four ideas. There's probably four more that I'm not going to come up with today. But the first is to offer this as a lead gen magnet on your website. Okay, so that is already going to position you as a cybersecurity expert. Four big questions everybody has before investing in cybersecurity solutions as a small business owner or you could probably tweak that title a little bit but you get the idea another idea is that when you know that you're going out to a client that you're going to upsell or attempt to upsell on cybersecurity, or you're going out to a prospect send this ahead of time inside of your pre-sales material you probably have some type of an introductory package or confirmation letter maybe you have a shock and awe box include this inside of that package again position yourself as a difference maker and as a thought leader so that's idea number two number one lead magnet number two sales pre-sales activity number three you could go live with each of those objections that are now questions and do a three four five part series on the top five frequently asked questions that you have heard over the last few months from small business owners in the community you go live maybe once a week for five weeks answer those five questions again you are positioning yourself as an expert Last idea is to take those same five Q&A and structure those into either a blog post or, or series of blog posts or a small article or a big article inside of your newsletter. And so, and you could also certainly turn it into an email drip sequence. You can turn it into, I mean, there's a million different ways you could do it. You could turn it into an image, each question into an image, use those on social media, perhaps bake them into a cybersecurity sales presentation or a lunch and learn type of presentation. So once you have these, these objections turned into questions and you now have the question and answers scripted, that is some marketing gold. So that is my tip for you today is if you hear the objections, try not to take them personally. But after you've heard the same objection two or three times, you're going to realize these are the questions my clients and prospects have. Let me answer them in advance so that we are not potentially at odds during the sales call itself. So take that, run with it implement this week, make that happen. And for now, I'm Jennifer Bleem, Cybersecurity Sherpa, signing off. To learn more about how you can become a cybersecurity hero for your clients, request your hero assessment today. MSPSalesRevolution.com forward slash hero.